Hey friends, I'm Glenn Thomas, and in this video, I just want to go over some quick settings uh, to set up your Reaper instance for some voiceover work. Reaper is one of the best DAWs, in my opinion, for doing voiceover work, just because the workflow, the customization, all of it is just really great. So I just want to go over a real quick setting on how you take uh, your voice and your input from sounding like something like this to toggling into something that's a little bit more voiceover sounding. Let me just walk you through that. I did this video essentially with uh, Ableton a f about a year ago, and I just wanted to show you how to do it in uh, Reaper with stock plugins as well. So this is what it looks like. Uh, the first thing that I've got going is just this simple Rea gate. Uh, again, all stock plugins here, Rea gate. And uh, essentially I'm just trying to minimize some of the noise when I'm not speaking. So I am uh, in a bedroom right now. The windows are open, the day is nice. Uh, so we, there's some external noise. I'm using a Rode NT-USB microphone. So it's a condenser microphone. And as you can tell, the, uh, the gate helps to keep some of the volume uh, just ambience down when I'm not speaking. I do have over here in this section here the dry. I like to keep a little bit of dry in my uh, gates just to help them sound a little bit more, more natural uh, so that it doesn't completely cut out and go to that just awkward silence where there's nothing. I like there to be a little bit of ambience. Negative 20, that's pretty good. Otherwise, the full wet, uh, pre-open in milliseconds, I like a little bit uh, there, two milliseconds, attack, I like to be fast, hold for a fairly short period, release fairly fast as well, just because we want this thing to be uh, pretty helpful that way. Okay, so another thing then to pay attention to is the Rhea EQ here. And so with this one, uh, I've essentially just rolled off the really lows, given a slight boost. What's that boost? 3 dB down in the bottom end. I've given a little bit of a shelf up at the top end, about 3 dB. And then I've just scooped the mids a little bit, negative 2.5. And then a slight duck here, and that is just for DSing. So without EQ, it sounds like this. With the EQ, it sounds like this. Again, a condenser mic, Rode NT-USB, and it just helps it to fit uh, with what's going on in my voice. And I tend to like that. As I look for the different frequencies, I will essentially just bring them up and kind of sweep them through and then find, yeah, right about there, duck out just a little bit. Makes it sound a little bit more uh, professional, a little bit more polished. Little top end just helps add some sparkle too. So moving on to the compressor then, uh, these are the settings that I like to use. So a fast attack and auto release. Classic attack, which I do think slows it down just a little bit, more like an opto compressor, um, but you still do get some control over it here. Uh, I'm not using any of the changes to the detec detector, excuse me, um, and I'm leaving the knee as a hard knee. So this is with the uh, compressor off, and then when I turn it on, essentially what I'm looking for here is uh, this is my normal speaking volume, and I'm getting eh, 2 to 3 dB, but if I really get on it, it will get down to 10, it will get down to 12, um, but it just helps it to all even out pretty well. Also, uh, you notice with the gate, I can talk pretty quiet and this gate is still open. Like I'm talking quite quiet and the gate's working well, the compressor's working well. So again, these are just helping to dial in a few dynamics. Uh, you'll notice that I clipped here before I turned on the compressor. Let's clear that. So after I've done some compression, I just like to come back in. I, I add a little bit of dry a negative 40 essentially, but then I do come back in here and I like to use this JS uh, plugin, the volume adjustment, and I just give it a three dB bump, max volume at negative three. So I give those just a little bit of bump there and uh, I feel like that kind of just rounds it all out. That kind of gives it the polished feel. So if I was doing voiceover, this is a pretty good sound where we were at previously and where we're at now. So again, this is simple voiceover using uh, stock plugins in Reaper. It's great, I'm a really big fan of it. It works well. You don't need super fancy plugins to get this all to work well. So hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, I would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up and a like. I'd love to hear what uh, types of things you're using for your voiceovers and I will see you on the next one.